coach Don Staley has won a national title for the South Carolina Gamecocks. John, you are a big fan of the women's basketball. What is your take on the win? I'm a big fan of basketball. Mostly so, women, though. That's still basketball. Mostly women, though. I, I, I would put you up against anybody debating women's basketball. Anybody oh, that don't, say don't, do that. don't don't do that. No, I would. I would. I would. No, because here's the thing: the the women's fans are actually like hardcore women's fans. Like I just like basketball, so like they actually like I, specifically. I like mean, they don't. They probably don't watch college or pro or men's. Pro, but you so. watch both, so I mean, you know, it works. Yeah. So uh, I'm a I'm a jack of all trades. I don't know enough to go up against anybody though. Yeah, you are, you the women's Sooners fan. You're the Chicago Scott fan. And one of my friends played for the Sooners. Um, I always wish I could have gotten to see her play. Um, but how tall was she? Because them girls be tall. That's what people don't realize. She All really of them ain't short. Compared to the rest of the girls, she wasn't that tall. But uh yeah. but yeah. But um what's crazy was her brothers were both tall and they were both they were, you know, we we both we always thought they were gonna play, you know, college ball and then they never they never really got uh you know, they never made it, but their sister did, which was interesting. It was pretty cool. Um, but I, actually, back to one last thing about la- the last. How many times did they say that guy from North Carolina Manic? How many times did they say that like he was with OU? Like I don't know if y'all caught that. Oh, yeah. But yeah, OU, I did hear that a couple. Man, they must have mentioned it ten <laughs> times. I was like, all right, we get it, right? We're Ohio State. We we flopped on Joe Burrow, right? We get yeah, it, like you know. Hell? You know what I mean? Like we, like we let, all right, we let, we get let away. Wait, like, I, why you gotta add us in that? No, I'm just saying, like they, they just kept calling us out the whole thing time. I was like, all right, we get it, man. We, we let one slip through our fingers. Let, let move on. Like, like he's here now. He, he's you like, see how he tried to add us in there, Walt? Like, hold on, cuz what I do? <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty significant. Man. That's a pretty man. significant one. We're not talking about all things. That's, that's a pretty significant one, Joe. We, but hey. um. We might we might have let Joe Burrow go, but right. we got Justin. That's all that matters. Um, but no, UConn coach, man, this is his first ever loss in a championship. And, and for right. the Nikos of the world, right? Like they would rather he just didn't make the tournament than losing the championship. But uh, he's t- like I think he's like twelve and one now in the championship game. Yeah, dude, his, his uh, record is crazy. That's yeah, crazy. but he's, he can't he got, be the goat anymore because he's not undefeated. He got a Bill Russell record. I'm sure there's someone who's one and there's someone probably who's like one and oh that Nico thinks is better than him now because at no, least they're on the field. Of course not. But um, no, no. <laughs> you, it sounds good, but no, you can't make the same comparison. But yeah, I mean they they did a really good job, you know, defending you know Paige Bukers and and you know because she was supposed to you know she she's gonna be one of the biggest draft picks coming out and stuff. So they they did a really good yeah, job. She struggled. She struggled. Sorry. Right, so they did a really good job. Yeah, they did a really good job containing it and and keeping everything in front of them. And uh, kudos to South Carolina, man. Like this was a was a nice little run. I mean, they well, it, well obviously it wasn't as exciting as Duke UNC. You know, it wasn't like that. You know, because they rolled them. But uh, you know, I would have liked to have seen a little bit of a comeback, sort of like we saw with with Kansas. But there just there was nothing. It was, and uh, South Carolina took it. And kudos to them, though. Yeah, um, yeah, it was definitely a you know a game to say <laughs> what, <laughs> um, but no, it was, it was it was a crazy game. Um, it was it's crazy that the fact that South Carolina only shot eighteen percent from the three point line, but they dominated it on the boards though. It was like what forty nine to twenty four or something like that, and it was just it just like they said South Carolina just pretty much killed them inside the paint though. That's pretty much what their game was all year. And they just pretty much killed them in the paint again in the championship. And like John said, they they kept Paige on the on, on a they kept her <laughs> not to be doing what she needed to do. I should say um, she only had fourteen points. I think she only shot sixteen six for fourteen. Um, so and she definitely didn't really. She only had two assists. That's really not you know her game. She usually gets about maybe about four or five. But uh, like shout out to South Carolina. It's like the coach, they they show them playing great basketball. I honestly like the the the, the style of basketball that they're playing. I actually love showing my daughter their, their you know, the game tapes, their uh, highlights or whatever. So, hey, just shout out to South Carolina, and, hey, I don't see why they can't do it again next year. So, Yes. 
Yeah, the, the, the WNBA is still in that situation where, like, you know what I mean? Like, your Bill Russells and your Wilts and stuff can still come in and take over the league. So, South Carolina having them rebounders and bigs who can put it back and rebound and stuff is still important, right? Like, in the NBA, you know what I mean? Like, someone like Hassan Whiteside, Rudy Gobert, Dwight Howard, like, they're not as important as they would have been back in the day. But in the WNBA, they're still super important. Uh, you know, your bigs, you know, way more than, than you know, the NBA. So, they, we could see. I mean, we could see a few of their players probably, you know, they could probably lose a few players this year because, you know, bigs are still super important. Yeah. Damn, she has 16. Boston yeah. has 16 boards, bro. Right. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's that's still a big deal in the WNBA, man. It's second chance opportunities and, and just being able to rebound and put back. Uh, yeah, she was glad. She was getting boards for sure, for sure, man. That was, that was a game changer right there, though. Second chance points, honestly. So. Right. 